Hello Flyers and welcome back to the channel. Up today is a little tutorial on how to install snow skis on your RC airplane. Flying off the snow adds a whole new dimension to RC flight. And if you live in the part of the world where you do get a winter season like I do, you're really missing out if you end up sitting in the house all afternoon just looking out the window on the weekends. RC flying in the snow can be a lot of fun. RC flying off of snow is actually a little easier than off of land. The takeoff is easier and a landing you'll see at the end is also easier. The snow acts as a cushion. Uh, Dubro makes uh, the most of the skis that you'll probably be looking at. These bigger ones I have here on the A-Flight Pawnee. The little park flyer ones are good for uh, planes with under a 48 inch wing. You don't want too big a ski on your plane to drag it down. The bigger ones here are much thicker and firmer and the smaller park flyer ones are a little thinner. Uh, but you don't want too big a ski on your plane. The smaller skis are about 7 inches long, and the larger ones are about 9 inches long. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is put your plane up on a stand. It makes it a little easier. Uh, this works best with planes that have a nut or a C-clip on an axle. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is uh, remove the nut and expose the axle underneath. This does work a little bit better uh, when the plane is upright. You'll see these are the parts involved, the spring and then the O-ring. This triangular piece on the larger ski you do have to install separately. It's just a couple screws. Uh, but you're going to uh, just slide that ski right over the axle. Uh, it's best to work on the plane right side up. It makes it a little easier. Uh, you see these clips. Uh, the U part of the uh, clip is going to face out and then the open part toward the back. Once you get it on, you're going to need a screwdriver, a drill bit, something uh, long where you can just kind of slide it underneath the U-part, and you're going to use that a little bit as leverage. Whether you have a, a low-wing plane or high-wing plane will determine how big a screwdriver you're going to need. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is uh, install the nut back on before you start trying to bend it. Putting that nut on prevents the hardware from popping off as you're leveraging the uh, spring back. Once it is secure, you're just going to push back the hardware toward the gear, uh, snug it up, and then just take a uh, pair of pliers and just re-attach uh, your nut. Once that's done, you're going to take a uh, hex wrench uh, and then adjust this, essentially a big grub screw, into the O-ring, and you're going to adjust the pitch of the ski uh, most times, if it's pretty tight, it'll stay pretty firm, even when you're landing. And that's it, and you're done. Just repeat for the other side. Coming up here is a sample of a landing. You can see the snow uh, being powdery is very forgiving. Uh, it makes landing easy. It is a lot of fun. I do recommend it especially if you live in that part of the country where you'd otherwise be shut out all winter. Uh, and as usual, uh, please like and subscribe. It does help support the channel.